Welcome to Yesu Mafra Downfall. It's a great and exciting channel. Hello guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Yesu Mafra Downfall. I'm Auntie Raja and it's always such a great, great joy to be in your homes or wherever you find yourselves. I trust your week has been awesome and you're enjoying the month of July. Our God is faithful. The Lord has brought us this far. Now we are in the seventh month of the year, 2024, our month of rest. And I believe that as God has done for us in the previous month, God is going to give us amazing and amazing, wonderful testimonies. Guys, more letters, more letters, more letters, and more letters. Today, we are going to review another letter from Paul. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after the song. Love, love, love one another and be kind. Be kind to each other. Our memory verse for this month, Revelation chapter 22, verse 12. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. Amen. Now in our Ghanaian language, Asanti tree. Yohenye di sem, ete dionum yenu, itiche mudum yenu. She, merebantem, na mikra maketia, se medebe ma ubiara seni ni jumatie. Amen. The B I B L E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B I B L E Bible. Guys, are you super duper ready for today's Bible story? Then get your Bibles ready, get your super books ready, and let's delve deeper and deeper and deeper into today's Bible story. Our Bible story for today is another letter from the Apostle Paul and it's titled, A Letter About Helping Others. Our scripture text is taken from the book of Galatians chapter 6, verse 1 to 3 and verse 9 and 10. Let's have our Bible story for today. 
Lessons from our Bible story. Recap of last week's lesson. A letter about fixing our eyes on Jesus. Guys, we learned that Jesus is the author and finisher of our faith. We need to fix our eyes on him. Jesus will reward each and every one of us according to our lives lived here on earth. Our life on earth is like a race and we need to complete our race here on earth with the help of the Holy Spirit to receive our crowns at the end of this race. In today's lesson, a letter about helping others. Galatians chapter 6 verse 1 to 3 and verse 9 to 10. Brothers and sisters, if someone is caught in a sin, you who live by the Spirit shall restore that person gently, but watch yourselves or you also may be tempted. Carry each other's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. If anyone thinks they are something when they are not, they deceive themselves. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially to those who belong to the family of believers, the word of the Lord. Guys, it is usually very easy to point fingers at others when they are doing wrong. It is always easy to find fault with others. Paul's letter to the Galatians is entreating us to help others when they are constantly doing bad things. How do we help them? Not to join them to do the bad things or to point fingers, tease, bully or laugh at them or gossip about them. No! Apostle Paul tells us in this letter to pray for them, encourage them to stop doing the bad things and to report them to our teachers, guardians, mummies or daddies to also help them. Guys, never think you are better than others or holier or more righteous than others. We need to always ask the holy spirit to help us our confidence should not be in our own strength to live holy by the holy spirit who helps us not by might nor by power but by my spirit says the lord guys have you ever been loved at for doing wrong or have your friends or classmates ever pointed fingers at you for doing something wrong how did it feel like not pleasant right Yes, I know. So we need to learn to help others when they are sinning and doing bad things. Guys, doing good means that you see an opportunity to help another person and take it. You do what you can to help others. What are some of the good things we can do for others, especially for other Christians? Top of the list, you need to be able to share Jesus with them. Share with them what you learn at Yesu Mofradan for or at Sunday school. Share your snack or your lunch with others. Help them understand the subjects they find difficult. Comfort them when they're sad or scared. Say kind words like, please, thank you, I'm sorry to them. Save up some of your nice toys or clothing for other children who may not have and smile yes guys learn to smile make an effort with a new classmate or a new church member sometimes in doing good people may not show gratitude or say thank you others may even laugh at us when we do it continuously that is why apostle paul is encouraging us not to be wary not to get tired or even give up in doing good when you do good, you're obeying God. That is number one. And number two, you are doing exactly what Jesus did whilst here on earth. Everywhere he went, he was doing good. Jesus did good everywhere he went when he was here on earth. He never ever got tired. Even when people hated him, he never ever got tired of doing good when people hated him. In the Bible, when the soldiers came to arrest Jesus to crucify him, Apostle Peter pulled up a sword and cut off the ear of one of the soldiers. Guess what Jesus did, guys? He healed the soldier by fixing the ear. He never got tired of sharing the word of God. Jesus never got tired of helping people, sharing his food, praying for the sick, saying please, sorry, thank you, and I'm sorry. And I'm sure he always helped his mommy and daddy at home, helping with cooking, cleaning, doing house shows, or even laundry. Guys, the Lord blesses you here on earth when you do good and in heaven as well. You'll be rewarded greatly. But please note this, don't do good because people are watching and they will say you were a good child. Do it from the depths of your heart. Whether people see it or they don't see it, still do good. Never stop, never get tired of doing good. 
because one day you will reap great and wonderful blessings. And most importantly, because you are doing exactly what Jesus did whilst you're on earth, people get to see Jesus in you and want to also become like Jesus. Finally, guys, when you do good to others, there is this joy, unexplainable, you feel in your heart that nobody can take away from you. The Lord bless us and help us to be able to help others at all times. In Jesus' name, amen. Welcome back, guys. Have you spoken to Jesus today? Remember that Jesus lives in your heart. He's at all places at the same time. And he has so, so, so much to hear from you at all times. Today, I want to be praying for some of our friends who are writing exams in the coming week, that the Lord will give them retentive memory, the Lord will give them wisdom and understanding so that they excel in all of their papers. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for another opportunity to see a brand new month, a brand new day. We are so grateful we don't take it for granted. Father, we thank you for your word that has come to us about helping others. That we you know sometimes it can become tiring and we get weary in helping. We thank you for the Holy Spirit who will always be there to remind us, to help us, to strengthen us, to be able to help others in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray and commit all our friends across the world who are writing their exam, especially in Ghana, the BEC. That Lord, you grant them wisdom, you grant them understanding and help them to excel in all of their papers in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, grant them retentive memory to be able to remember all they have learned. Oh, Holy Spirit, remind them in the mighty name of Jesus. After all is said and done, we'll not forget to give you all the glory and honor that you deserve. We thank you for hearing us. We pray and ask that even as we go throughout this week, Lord, show us favor, have mercy on us, and grace our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Preserve us in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for hearing us in Jesus' name. Amen. Hi, buddy. Please say this prayer after me to invite Jesus into your heart and life. Dear Lord Jesus, I surrender my life to you today. Forgive me my sins. Wash me with your blood. I receive you as my Lord and personal Savior. Please write my name in the book of life. Now I declare Jesus is Lord. Amen. My dear friend, you are now born again. Hallelujah. Guys, I love, 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 love. Our memory verse for this month, Revelation chapter 22, verse 12. Jesus is coming soon. It says, I am coming soon. So it means he is right here at our door and very soon the trumpet is going to sound. But are you ready or will you be ready? That is why we learn the word of God with the passing of the day so that we can become more and more like Jesus and we'll be ready for his coming for the beautiful, that magnificent place he has prepared for us, the new Jerusalem for you and I. Guys, I trust you enjoyed today's lesson and you learned something new. God bless you so much for tuning in today and don't forget to subscribe to this year's wonderful channel if you haven't done that. And don't forget to hit the like button and share Share with your friends, your family members, your cousins. God bless you and I'll see you next time once again. Bye-bye. Subscribe, like and share. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Yes, Sue. Mofra Dalkwood.